Hey there, NavyDoc5184 here and welcome to another music reaction. Today we're reacting to Nightwish, Slaying the Dreamer from the End of an Era concert. And first off, if you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. I hope you really enjoy the reaction and feel free to subscribe so you can check out more of my Nightwish reactions and any other group that I react to. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I am glad you all are here to go on this journey with me. So one thing I'm going to say right off the bat is the end of an era concert has been one of my favorite things when it comes to doing Nightwish uh, during the Tardia period. This concert has been one of my favorites to react to on there. I mean, just the feeling of knowing that that's, these are her last performances with the group, it really does feel like an end of an era. Granted, I'm still relatively new to Nightwish. I feel like I've got, well, I don't want to say I got a nice bit of their catalog done already, but you know, at this point, it feels like there's not much they can do that will shock me anymore. But then again, every time I seem to feel that, it's like the next reaction I go to, I'm just like, what in the world is this? Just it's like when I think I have them, I don't want to say figured out, but when I think I'm fully ready for what I'm going into, it turns out that I'm not. It feels like that happens with every single Nightwish reaction I do. So as much as I want to say that I am totally ready for this, something's probably going to pop up to where I'm not. So I'm just going to try to forgo saying that anymore. The only thing that I know that has been a constant outside of that is the fact that I have thoroughly enjoyed everything I've reacted to them so far. They are quickly turning into one of my favorite groups to react to, even to the point where it's like after I get done reacting to the songs, I find putting those songs into my own personal playlist. They're definitely climbing up the ranks in one of my favorite all-time groups. They're absolutely fantastic. I love their style and I love the fact that they can do multiple styles. I, going through Taria, Annette, and Floor, they all have their own different sounds and they all work. It's amazing how well it all works. And I know I've said it before, I've probably beaten this horse to death, I don't know how many times, but I will continue to say it. That really just goes to really just show the genius of Tomas in this and getting everything to sound so good, no matter who it is that's at the helm for the vocals, he makes it work and it, to me, even though the sounds are all different, I know everybody probably has this idea of, you know, this is what Nightwish sounds like, or this is not what Nightwish is. But to me, it all feels like genuine Nightwish to me. You know, it's to me, it's just a natural evolution. Groups evolve, groups change. That's just the way of things. You can't really keep doing the same thing over and over and over. And I don't feel like they do that. I feel like they incorporate everything and that's what keeps them fresh after so long. So really looking forward to this one. We will go ahead and get right into it. I will leave a link to the original video in the description down below. Let's go ahead and get started. I love that man. Marco is such a treasure. So is, um, so is everybody in this group. They are all such treasures. Empu running around all over the place, but what else do you expect? I 
love how much they all complement each other. I'll definitely explain what I'm talking about later, but you all know what I mean. I love their setups too. Their setups are always so great though. Very visually appealing. And the Empu on that guitar, man, I swear. Ooh. <laughs> okay, my man, get it. Ooh, yes! And like normal, you got that period where they're gonna let you calm down. Yeah, just like I thought, small period to calm down, and then they just, hmm. Get it, my peeps. Oh! Oh, you know it's getting serious. Marco's getting in on it. Ooh! Yes! I love anything where Marco is involved in the vocals on there. Ooh! Ooh, that bit right there, nice, I like it. <laughs> oh, not done yet? Okay. Oh, okay, maybe that darn nabbit. <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. All right, that was Nightwish slaying the Dreamer from End of an Era. And as I said in my opening, definitely expected to enjoy it. And boy, oh boy, did I ever enjoy it. And as I said, I always love any time Marco gets involved with the vocals on there. It's like, you know, it's about to get hard and heavy. I love that man so much, but I'm not going to lie. Empu is my dude with this group. It's just something about him. It's just between him and you. I'm like, if you took their energy and like bottled it up and turned it into an energy drink, that would be the only energy drink you would ever need. Like, I know you've probably heard about that five hour energy. You put those two together, you're getting 24 hour energy just from those two. I mean, good Lord almighty. It is amazing the energy those two by themselves, but I mean, the group as a whole, it's just ridiculous and it's amazing it what, what I was talking about um you know I already forgot I know that there was something I wanted to say but I already done forgot this group has that tendency to do that to me I think I have a thought that I want to say later 
but then I hold off on it and it's just, I just get so into the performance, I completely forget. But one of the things that I know that I always, always enjoy when it comes to watching them perform or even just listening to their stuff, it's amazing how if you were just to just put on paper, like the sound, the style and everything, like symphonic metal, it sounds like it shouldn't work, but man, they make it feel like that it's just such a natural fit that there's no way you could ever imagine that it couldn't work. And I love the fact that even though it is kind of a contrast, but they pair so well together, but I think that has to do a lot more with the members themselves. They, I mean, they gel together so good that it probably really doesn't matter what style they do as long as they put their all into it it is gonna sound like it's just a natural fit to begin with and every time i watch more and more of taria's performances and everything like that i get completely why there's so many people that were never really into nightwish uh quite the same after she left but at that same token, the fact that I've been making it a point to also react to um, Annette's era as well as Floor's era. As I said before, the fact that they make it work no matter who's at the helm when it comes to the vocals, there has not been anything I've listened to that I have not enjoyed. And I know I've said this before and this is something I will always say is that the songs that are written for each of those three it's like no matter how good one does it the first example i had was ghost love score now amazingly ghost love score i know was ataria composition but the first time i heard it was floor doing it but then when i did the reaction to taria's version of it as much as i enjoyed floor doing it she did fantastic with it but you can definitely tell that was taria's song you can definitely tell. And, you know, she definitely hit it out of the park better. And uh, Storytime is another one where I heard Floor's version first, then I heard Annette's version, and I love both of them, you know, equally as much. And when I heard um, the album version of Storytime, it was like, wow, you can definitely tell that this was definitely for her voice. But there are other songs that um, Annette did that I'm listening to and I'm just like you know as much as I would love to hear Floor do this I don't think she could do it quite the way and hit the same as Annette did and the one common theme in that is Humas the fact that he's able to compose these songs that is such a perfect fit for whoever's there at the time it is amazing but going back to my original point the more I'm watching Taria the more I understand why some people probably you know felt they really couldn't be into it because yes it is a different sound but to me it's just it's all just as good it's just kind of like a matter of what are you more in the mood for in a way you know if you're just going based on quality i mean just take your pick from any of the three um vocalists on there but if you're looking for a very specific mood that's where you might want to go you know and kind of gauge a little more like with me like if you're looking for like definitely more of a so like a more of a soft soothing like type feel i feel like that's like a net wheelhouse right there you know you want the big symphonic um you know operatic i mean taria is for me is just like <clears throat> far far and away whereas with floor like she's the one where if like if i want like more of a metal sound more of a rock sound i feel like that's her biggest wheelhouse but all three are fantastic in their own right and you can't really compare one to the other because their styles are really so different you really can't compare them and i don't think it's fair to compare them but now whether you have your preferences or not that's a whole nother thing you know clearly have your preferences but to say you know one is better than the other i think they're all equally great but you know, again, just goes to the whole understanding. I completely get it. And the more and more I'm watching her, the more and more I'm starting to really understand why, because she is very infectious. <laughs> Taria is very infectious. When you watch her perform, when you listen to her sing, she is an absolute gem. And I know I got, I 
I'm pretty sure I got some of her solo stuff on there, which I will include when I do like Nightwish themes. It's just a matter of doing the vocalists themselves. Um, but there will be points where I'll do um, even like some of their solo or other outside work. Because I know Floor has been with um, other groups before Nightwish. I know she's done stuff outside. Obviously, Taria with her solo stuff. Um, Annette, I'll have to look for. But I mean, she's definitely somebody I want to look more into too as well. But this has been a fantastic journey and if you would like to feel free to check on these cards over there you can definitely see more of my nightwish reactions on there thank you all for stopping by i hope you all enjoyed watching that as much as i enjoyed recording it and i will catch you all down the road